keeps the run at a large cost. Straight up and down. And it needs to, you need to be able to follow that grain line all the way down through the head. If that grain line goes off to one side or another, that handle is going to break. Certainly if it's off on some other angle like that, it will break. So it, it's really important to get that that right piece of wood. If uh, one of the best sources for good handle wood is a buggy spoke. A buggy spoke has to have that very same thing. If that grain is not perfectly straight in a buggy spoke, it will shatter as well. Uh, our handles, or my handles, are made by a buggy spoke company out of. Uh, uh, New Holland, Pennsylvania. So he's able to, to give me a, a pretty good straight grain handle on every hammer I sell. That was pretty important to me. Another thing, I mean, a lot of buggy spokes, the buggy spoke is not perfectly round. Some are. A, a lot of them have an egg shape to them. And, uh, Good friend in Michigan, Mr. Dick Becker, you probably know Dick Becker. Dick showed me this a long time ago that he was making this, but he left the egg shape in there. Instead of flattening off the sides and all that sort of thing. And what he what he does is he puts the narrower side of that egg shape to the flat of his hammer and the larger round to the round side of his hammer. So when he picks when he picks it up. All he has to do is flip it a couple times and he knows he has it flat down and rounds down and flats down and rounds down. He knows already. So he doesn't have to stop and look and, okay, that's first. So that's kind of a cool trick too as well. Um, once, the, once the hammer is set, now this depends on the head of the hammer, it's, it's difficult. In order for a hammer head to be correct, the inside of this hole has to be hourglass shape. You have to have enough swell to match the handle itself, and you have to have enough swell to match the two wedges you're going to put into it. If that if that head uh, is per is dead straight through, the head will never stay on correctly. It'll always be moving all the time, especially when. If you get into the winter time, when it, believe it or not, when it gets super cold, that thing, your hammer handle dries out. Uh, throwing this thing into a bucket of water to get it to swell back up does not work. It swells the wood too much. So then when it does dry out and shrink, it starts to, it just, there's too much movement in the wood and that'll cause it to loosen up. Do you want something in there? I use antifreeze. I'll dip it in antifreeze. Not very much, right up to the top of the head. Just enough to get a little moisture inside there. The glycerin in the antifreeze has a tendency that it doesn't swell it as much. Just be careful your dog's not around. Keep that covered. You'll kill your dog. I don't have a dog. Right. How long do you keep it in the antifreeze? I'm just dipping mine in overnight. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, just it, it swells back up. Right. Uh, for a month beating ago. this thing back in, no, that don't do that either. It'll it'll find a little settling spot, and it may not like this one doesn't quite match right to the top, but it settles right into that spot. It likes that, and I haven't touched it. But just, but I know it. You can feel it loosen every once in a while when it dries out like that. Then it goes in the antifreeze. I don't know if this guy's in. Now he's okay. Of course. We're in 100% uh, humidity today. Did it dry out this summer? Yeah, it didn't. Not once. Not once. <laughs> no. But it will this winter. So, I I spend the time, I get it to, into the shape that I want. I like my thumb up on top of that to control my hammer, control my swing. And when I do that in just a light deal, I want to see a little gap between that finger and that palm, about a quarter of an inch. If it's 
if you have a wider gap than that, or, or a narrower gap, if you can actually come around and touch your palm, that forces you to squeeze on that handle. And, and you don't want that. There's no squeeze in this. Uh, years and years ago, Bruce Daniels told me that it uh, doesn't matter where you are in this swing and how hard you're hitting, doesn't make any difference. If I'm coming up like that, he should be able to do that. Just take it away from me any place I am in that swing. That's my grip. So there's a certain amount of the moisture from your hand and after a handle, you can feel it that it's just kind of tacky. And that's your grip. That you're just relying on that little tackiness of that handle and, and your hand swell with that. It just sits there. And, and there's nothing just and, and certainly no glove on this hand. That forces you to squeeze again because the glove is loose. 